it comes straight out of Hollywood in terms of what you think an evil alien might look like. So just when you thought 2020 couldn't possibly get any worse, this new insect, welcome. It has arrived here in the US. Its nickname, it is haunting. It's known as the murder hornet. Its sting, it is strong enough to kill you. Turns out they can also do quite a number on the honeybee population. Spencer Blake looks at what could happen if the hornets ever make it here to Arizona. The Asian giant hornet looks like a monster. It can be as big as two inches long, and with enough stings, their powerful venom could be deadly to a human. They can sting multiple times, and as a result, they know that they're able to sting, and it makes them a little bit more aggressive to begin with. They're also a huge predatorial threat to bees. They can decimate a colony of honeybees, about 30,000 in a matter of hours. Derek Shields is an East Valley beekeeper who just last week came to save the day and the swarm of bees that had landed on a Gilbert family's front porch. He says any species of hornet is already a concern for beekeepers, but especially this type, which was found domestically for the first time in Washington. What do you think about the nickname murder hornets? It seems like it could be quite synonymous. <laughs> and in Arizona, honeybees are active almost all year long, which could give the murder hornets more access to food. Entomologists at the University of Arizona say no, you shouldn't worry about swarms of murder hornets here. For one thing, they're not even sure whether the hornets would thrive in our desert climate. But those U Arizona researchers say we should be worried enough to exterminate the non-native species from North America. Shield says we'll have to wait and see if they're any match for our more aggressive, Africanized or killer bees. The Africanized bees might have a stronghold against them, being able to have a much more defensive behavior against hornets. Scientists will be watching to see if the hornets build permanent colonies in the U.S. and how well they reproduce here. I'm Spencer Blake for Arizona's Family.